Hello friends, today we are going to learn most important topic which is having a probability of asking the question in every exam of university and the name of topic is holography. So as I say the holography is the most probable question which is repeated very frequently in university exams like discuss the construction and reconstruction of image in holography with a neat diagram as it is the application based question it is repeated almost after every year in university exam it may be asked in the form of what is the fundamental principle of hologram how is it produced and how is the image constructed from it so let's understand what is the answer to this question and please remember this is very very important question according to exam point of view so the definition of holography holography is a special and advanced type of photography which consists of recorded intensity pattern which has both the amplitude and phase recorded in it thus hologram gives clear and better image and how to construct the hologram the principle behind the holograph is that during the recording process we superimpose on the scattered wave emanating from the object and the another coherent wave of the same wavelength but from laser so in construction of hologram or holograph two beams are used one is the scattered beam from the object of which we are constructing the holograph this object ka hologram bana rahe hain usse aane wali jo scattered beam of light hai wo use hogi aur dusri taraf se laser se aane wali reference beam use hogi so these two beams will be superimposed on a photographic plate these two waves interfere in the plane of the recording medium and the produce interference fringes this is known as recording process the recording medium records the intensity distribution in the interference pattern which has recorded in both the amplitude distribution and phase of electromagnetic wave scattered from the object hence the name hologram here hollows means complete this is the greek word hollows is the greek word which means complete and grams or gramma means recording so hologram represents complete recording this is how the construction of hologram is done here from this object object beam is incident on photo plate or photographic plate so this object beam is interfered with this reference beam this is reference beam this is coming from laser so from laser it is first incident on mirror so that it becomes weak and then mirror reflects it towards photographic plate so on photo plate the object beam or beam from the main object to be holographed is incident on photo plate and while reference beam of laser interferes it and these two interferes here on photo plate to construct a holograph so very simple to understand this diagram simply taking laser beam to mirror and mirror will reflect it to photo plate and the object beam from the object will also come to photo plate and here construction of hologram will be done now in reconstruction the production of the image from hologram is known as reconstruction 
see from this diagram we understood how hologram is created now if you want to reconstruct the image using this hologram then the production of that image from hologram is known as reconstruction in which a wave identical to reference wave is used when the hologram is illuminated by the reconstruction wave two waves are produced one wave appears to diverge from object and provides the virtual image of the object while the second wave converges to form a second image which is real as like shown in this diagram so this this is recorded hologram in which already data is stored and now we want to reconstruct its image so laser beam will be incident on this because of that what happens a virtual image is produced here and the real image is produced here an observer will have the complete structure of the object to be observable to it so this is how reconstruction of image from hologram is done now what are the advantages of holography over photography let's understand this in the ordinary photography only the intensity pattern is used hence it represents only two dimensional or flat image of a three dimensional real object the 3d character of object is lost and holography gives a clear and better image because in photography only intensity patterns are recorded but in holography intensity pattern as well as phase pattern is recorded and in photography we have two dimensional image while in holography we have three dimensional image when photograph is cut into pieces the entire formation is lost but but the most important advantage of hologram is if holograph is cut into pieces each piece carries the full information and hence entire image of object can be reconstructed from the piece of hologram also what are the other applications of holography automatic control of rockets and satellites is done by holography during the war time for detecting and destroying missiles submarines etc their holography is used for stage shows and film shootings also holography is used and in some type of surgery and cosmetology to remove wrinkles on the screen there also there is use of holography it is used in cutting and drilling of hard metals and diamonds and it is used in electronic communication what is the role of laser in the field of communication because this holography is also constructed using laser so laser is used in optical fiber communication as a source of light and it converts electronic digital pulse into light pulses they are also known as optical oscillator so this is entire thing about holography and uses of lasers in optical communication now the second question regarding holography is differentiate between photography and holography although it is less important but it is based on holography which is most important topic hence you must focus on this question also so while differentiating between photography and holography we will be using few of the parameters like the light used in photography and light used in holography obviously photography uses ordinary light but holography uses laser light beam and ordinary light also the second parameter is regarding recording so in photography only amplitude recording is done or you can say intensity recording is done as intensity is always directly proportional to square of amplitude it means if you are recording amplitude you are recording intensity structure but in holography both the amplitude and phase recording is done as i discussed in holography the third parameter is recording dimensions that the photography has two dimensional recording only and holography has three dimensional recording and most of the times if you observe holograms on a few objects if you look at 
different angles it shows you 3d diagram of the object this is not possible in normal photograph because in photograph there is two dimensional imaging and in holograph there is three dimensional imaging what is the use of lens in the photography and holography in photography lens is used and in holography as we saw in the diagram of holography construction there is no use of lens so generally no lens is used in holography which type of film is used for photography ordinary film is used but for holography it requires a very high resolution film the next parameter is vibration table so in photography no vibrations should be there so there is no need of vibration isolation table but in holography vibration isolation table is used what is the optics used in photography no special optics is used but in holography special optics is always used the next parameter for comparison is consequence of cutting or damaging in photography when photography is cut into pieces the entire information is lost but in holography when it cut into pieces each piece carries the full information and again entire object can be reconstructed from the piece of holograph the cost of the process obviously photography will be cheap in process and holography is costly process we are comparing quality of image the photography has the image which is not clear and not better but holography gives a very clear and very better image so this is what the comparison of photography and holography so i hope you understood the holography and this is very important question please remember every time it is asked in university exams so many times it is repeated and simple in explanation that just you have to take a light beam from the object and laser beam which uh, is to be incident on mirror and then from mirror it acts as a reference beam and both the waves or both the rays both the beams reach to photograph plate and there hologram is constructed and from this hologram again reconstruction of image of object is possible so i hope you enjoyed the holography Thank you.